Jeez. Welcome. Welcome to another limo video. We got a lot of stuff. Lots of things. That is a lot of stuff. That's at least three stuff. I've been I've been swiping that company credit card. Oh yeah? Yep. And we've got many things that we're gonna install today. Well, except none of we're gonna install none of them today. What? But eventually we will install them. You just we're did the whole get thing started. With stuff and we can't do it in a day. Maybe if we didn't wait till 3 p.m. These are for later, but they're very exciting. We'll see those in the later <laughs> part of the video. This video though, we have ourselves a lift kit. A lift kit. A lift kit. A lift kit. Remember that one time we went to that little creek and we couldn't cross it because it do. wasn't tall enough? I do remember that. We're going to fix that problem. We're going to make this thing tall. This actually isn't the entire lift kit. This is only part of it. This is to eliminate the um, the air suspension. Ah. So now it's just going to be springs like a normal car. We're going to uh, jack up, I mean, uh, jack up the car. Bleed the brakes. We got to do that again. We did, ah! it we did it wrong the first time. I don't know why I did it wrong. I've done it right before. Uh huh. But yes, that, the first time I guess I was drunk. I went and bought some cinder blocks and I figured you would just love to unload those. From, oh from my... yeah, oh, oh boy. They're beautiful. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's way cheaper than like jack stands. Don't you have jack stands? Well, our jack stands I don't think are tall enough. Uh, since we're... It's a five inch lift. It's meant for donks. You know what a donk is? Uh -huh. So it's probably, it's not gonna work very well, but it mm. will lift the car and then we'll put some off-road tires on it eventually once we can afford that. Everybody nice. wonders why these videos take so long and why we don't make that many of them because it's expensive. Two bricks per corner. All right, just fucking <sighs> carry two of them. Why don't Look, you? Look, it's less work in the long run. Yeah, I would have carried three, but there are only two. Oh, okay. Just let the record show. Well, I would have carried four, but you well, know. fuck you. I felt like a criminal buying these cinder blocks. <laughs> like, why do you need exactly this many cinder blocks? <laughs> Most people who care about their cars don't put them on cinder blocks. <laughs> you haven't gotten this one yet. Yeah, I was just, uh... Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> How long do Harbor Freight jacks normally last? This one's like 12 years old, and it's making a lot of creaky sounds. This is kind of scary. Uh, she All jacked. All right. All right, you ready to... Breathe, breathe some brakes. It's oh yeah, it's dead. oh yeah, it's yeah. fucking this shit ain't going nowhere. Ain't going Here, nowhere. watch. I'm gonna ram into it. <laughs> NASCAR. I hope we're keeping track of all these lug nuts. Time, time. Oh yeah, the lug nuts are probably missing. Oh fuck, they actually go that far? As long as we got three per wheel. This video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Now, I know that none of you watch porn, but just in case you have a friend that does, with everything going on in the world, governments have increased their surveillance. They're using your devices to track your location, movements, and in many countries, your internet activity. You don't want to be literally caught with your pants down. When you use ExpressVPN, your internet connection is rerouted through a secure, encrypted server. So you can surf the web anonymously without anyone looking over your shoulder. I know all you amateurs probably think all you got to do is use incognito mode. And nobody can see that you've watched every last hentai video on porn. You're wrong. Even when you use incognito mode, your internet provider like AT&T can see every single website you visit. And if you live on campus or you share Wi-Fi, your internet admin can too. And to be honest, that's that's kind of scary. That no one wants to see that. And that is why I use ExpressVPN every single time I go online. I recommend that all of you do the same. Because without ExpressVPN, you're giving people a free license to peek over your shoulder and see all the freaky shit you're looking at. Also, you can gain access to a bunch of different shows on Netflix that aren't normally in your country. Or, you know, get a huge discount on your Netflix subscription by connecting to a server in Argentina. You know, there's, there's that too. So visit expressvpn.com slash duck. Get three months of ExpressVPN for free. Thank you, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring this video. I'm going home now. I'm just gonna make sure it's top fully off. I will tell you to pump, and all you do is hold the brake fully down, and then I'll tell you to let go, and you let it go. Be sure to well document this so I don't get called a dumbass again. God, this fucking spider webs on this is insane. All right, pump her up. She pumped? Pumped and held. <laughs> Whoop, big release. It's not spitting out any air. I don't think we really have much air in it. Pumped. Okay. Well, that's good. Literally no air came out. Release. All right. <laughs> that one's good. That's a little bit of air release. came out of that one. Not much. Pump. Pump. Unpump. Unpump. Pump. Pump. Yeah, no, this one's just fucking. Yeah, that one's dead. That sucks. I mean, there's definitely air in that, so it's better than it was. <laughs> better than it was is is a good thing. The brakes will work. They're just never gonna feel perfect because there's still some air in that one. It feels firm. Oh yeah, that's very firm. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, I got that old black knee. Yeah. Is that racist? It's not, but it certainly <laughs> sounds like it should be. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow! Depressurizing air springs. And it has like a lot of steps. Oh, nice! For that. Couldn't you just like stab it? You can. With a knife? Yeah. Go for it. Before raising the V. Okay. I think that's really as far as I need to read. <laughs> Locate the air suspension switch, and that's what that is. All right. Oh. Locate the air suspension switch in the trunk and turn it to the off position, which I think it actually already is. Turn off engine. We did that. Got and disconnect battery. We didn't do that, but you know. Was it off? No, it was on, but it's off now. You can get a shot of all those spider webs. Just, oh, fuck. It's, yeah, it's a horror story just sticking your hand in there. and I finally got the battery disconnected. <laughs> we did the step. We just hey. did it in the wrong order. Hey, that actually fucking twisted? It's not rusted? Impressive. Be nice to have some ratcheting wrenches. In order for this not to just shoot down and kill me, I gotta put a jack under it. Aw, lame. Yeah. Please don't give out, cinder block, or do. Hey, was this car even put together? <laughs> that wasn't that hard. I know I gotta disconnect it from the top, too. After this. Probably spiders in here, I don't care. Yeah, there it is. That one. That, that you can't even hardly see it. That is the worst place. Just rip this out. Do we really fucking need this? Weight reduction. I can't even see the bolt myself. Yeah, there's also just spider webs literally everywhere. The right side, no, it's this one. Fucking stupid. That feels like it. All right, this is hell. It's what hell is. Loosening fucking struts. Oh, I got it, I think. Bald. Oh. Hey, I'm sorry, I wasn't in mechanic mode. Mechanic mode engaged. If we installed the sink, are we gonna have to go to plumber mode and pull <laughs> our pants down? This would have been done if I had a ratcheting wrench. So much fun. It's all fucking Ford's fault. You wanna see where the strut mounts are in a normal car? Wow, look at how accessible that strut mount is. Oh, Man, wow. that would be really convenient if I could just get to it from here. Like I said, if I had a ratcheting wrench, it really wouldn't be that bad. It's just having to lift the bolt off every single time and then put it back on yeah. just to get a quarter inch turn. It is the last bolt in the puzzle, so it's probably gonna be the hardest one. You guys remember which way these go back on, right? All right, uh, step back. Hey, it's coming out. Yep. Woo. We need to disconnect the brake lines. <laughs> Fucking deuce bro with a train horn. We got uh, quite a bit done today. Quite a bit. Yeah, we know it's gonna be a pain in the ass next time. Soon it will be lifted. Time to take shit apart. Yay. T tonight, we're gonna get these these out. We're gonna get the front springs out. And then I'm gonna blow my brains off. Apparently to get the caliper off, it's just these two bolts. Just gotta make sure I don't hit the car at all. I don't wanna scratch it. It's too much work. Theoretically, it should come right off. Yeah, theoretically, it should go back on, too. Uh, you know, they don't make these light. Fuck, shit, fuck, fuck. Now it's kind of out of the way. Now, theoretically, it should fall out. Uh, if you stick your face right there, it'd be an optimal chance of death. Down, down to the bottom of the sea. Come on. I think I bent that a little bit, smacking it, but you know. Probably shouldn't take this off right now with that pressure on it. Got it. It's loose. Very successful day. Uh, pretty much got everything done, except uh, we didn't get anything done, but we learned a lot. Uh, day 4,568,887,5,684 billion, billion, billion um, days later. We finally got the parts we need to finish lifting the limo. Try and uh, get the get the old suspension out once once and for all today. I have watched a few videos and I am now an educated man. Very briefly skipped through a, an hour and 45 minute long video. I watched all the good parts. It should be a breeze today, easily. Boy, I can't wait. Can't wait for it to be done. If this all works, according to plan, I'll be very surprised. Ugh. Hey, ya boy. Got the bolt stuck. There we go. Got it. Drill works like a dream. Oh, ah. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. My great 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 grandpappy taught me when we were working on a small T. Yeah. yeah, he bought, bought a brand. He, well, I gotta come clean. My great 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 grandpappy is, is Henry Ford. <laughs> oh, you son of a cunt. There we go. Come on. Come out. <laughs> Other side. Going over. I need one of those rolly things, like for my back. Oh God, there's a, literally a spider just hanging from a web. Two of them right next to me. It's good to know that I've got moral support. <laughs> Woo! Come out, you bitch. I don't know if this thing's gonna like fall to the ground when I get it loose, but. <laughs> yeah, I think I can just leave it there. Ah, oh, fucking spider web all over my God. Ah! Um, now the spring should be able to shoot across the floor. I don't want the spring to hit the Jeep. So I'm going to 
put this in the way. If it's got enough force to go through this wood, then I'm gonna be glad this wood was here. It should just fall out. Come on, little guy. Give us the money shot. It's just hanging there now. There's no pressure on it, I don't think. Eh, yeah. Woo! Ow! Ah. I don't think there's like any tension on it. It's moving very easily. There was some. We did it! Now, uh, yeah. Yeah, this comes factory on cars. Uh, bottle cap inside your coil. <laughs> This is the front of the lift kit. I don't know if it goes on the top or the bottom. Oh yeah, we get to make our first cosmetic mod. Damn. Now everyone knows she's lifted. Nothing but the best. <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. We need a spring compressor. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Duh. We'll get them all out and ready. Yeah, I actually need a spring compressor. I completely forgot. We'd have to rent that. Attach that. There we go. It might be enough. Oh wait, there we go. Fully detached. Good they make those removable. 40 more of those turns and we should be there. Bitch! All right, this might be a while, but with the power of movie magic, all right, I think this piece is removable too, so I'm gonna... Yeah, that's very easily removable. Come on out. Holy fuck. Come out, asshole. Yeah, it's in there more than the other one. Motherfucker, come out! That one wasn't as bad as the other. Now, we can uh, get some spring compressors and put it all back together. Easy peasy. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Wrong. No, no. Wrong. Wrong. How? Wrong. Wrong. Or wrong. if wrong. it's possible. Wrong. All right, I have studied up on this, this here shock. That piece of metal, I gotta pull it. This whole thing should be able to come out. That, that right there is holding your rear suspension in. I'm pretty sure that was a spider that just crawled across my finger right there though. Okay. That one's out. Theoretically, when I lower it, it should lower. I think, look, like I said, I, I skimmed through the video. Going down. Did it do anything? What the fucking shit? I can see the, the valve back there. Don't know how in the fuck they expect me to. Like, I guess in the video, the dude had fucking pancake hands and was able to slide it in. Who knew that lifting a limo would be this hard? Freeze, scumbag. What is that? spinning the whole bolt. All right, I might need the van pliers. It's a rare moment when you need the van pliers. It's my favorite tool, van pliers. I've used them one other time and they worked like a charm. Now I'll just grip the shaft. Oh, the van pliers do it again. Never let you down. Now it should lower. Motherfucking cunt. What the fuck? I take all that out. It gotta be hung up on it. Ow, it didn't come off any of them. Oh, never mind. That's not what it is. Okay, that was a waste. How? Do you come out? I have figured out the magic uh, touch on how to fix this. Okay, I see the clip. You're not probably not gonna be able to film this. Impossible. Okay, I'm gonna need some other tool. All right, the other option is to stick my hand straight through those spider webs, attack it from the other side. I'm gonna clear these out. Oh, God. It's so much worse up there. Let me show you the horrors that is the 1994 Lincoln Town Car. That right there what I have to twist. And there's a few um, little creepy crawlies around. There it goes! <laughs> Look at it, it's ruined. It broke the spring. Those are old ass springs. Those are probably about to bust. I'm about, about to, to bust. bust. All right, next side. Oh my God. Holy balls. What the fuck? Oh no, 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 no. Nope, nope. Series canceled. It's canceled. Sorry. We can't, uh, uh, we <laughs> How the fuck? I got something, I think we take care of this. Dripping on my flashlight. At least it's safe. Got the clip. Dude, I don't know what did it the first time. That. Oh my God. Now we should be able to take him out. Got it. Oh, that just, easy. Well, <laughs> don't expect. Easy once you know what you're doing. Man, that was the easiest thing I've ever done. I knew exactly how to do that the entire time. Wasn't confusing at all. Yeah, off of that. Fucking piece of shit. Let's see if a spring compressor is required for this step. We could probably replace just our springs without it. But yeah, no. We're gonna need a spring compressor for both. Next time on Limo Life. You're fired. You want a beer? <laughs> <laughs> on the job. As far as you can. God, yeah. We're in. Pump up the jam. Jam, pump it up. Pump it up. We've almost got it to the normal size. Yeah, which means it would fit theoretically into the car. No. 